Hey guys, uh, sorry for my absence. Things been crazy, but I have a lot of info to go through. Today I want to do a fail and clean up video. Uh, reason B, this base was giving my team quite a bit of trouble. Um, throwing a bunch of different attacks at it and coming up short. So I uh, made a plan to go around the base here. And you'll see it's kind of a, a different type build. Uh, you don't see these a lot. Um, but when we're looking at CC radius, it is inside the walls, so you don't have too much worry about pulling the CC too early. Uh, queen, fairly easy to get to. You can get to her with some wall breakers or a jump if need be. And then when we're looking at open spots for traps, you're going to have to assume there's a double spot here, double spot here. Um, that could be a single, and that will only fit one single with some extra. So you have a single spot, single spot. Uh, would it make sense to put two double bombs here? As in, the hogs won't cross that area. So most likely might be all the Teslas, which would only leave a bomb here. So maybe one Tesla, a bomb, a bomb, and a Tesla. Uh, the other open spots here, 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 and here don't make much sense to have anything. Joey's got to assume those are possibly bombs anyways, or maybe Tesla's. He doesn't really have a good spot for double bombs, so everything's up in the air. My plan of attack would be pretty simple on this one. I'd figure out where the queen is, how to get to her and kill the CC without pulling the aggro on the queen to my troops. Um, so first I'd count out the spots, and I realize that if I come over here with a golem, the queen will not walk out and shoot the golem because that has seven spots. So I can break my funnel line here and then start setting down some troops. Come in with a golem over here and one jump will do all these cells for you. So with one jump, you can place a jump over here. You'll get into the queen cell, this cell, and where I think all my possible traps are. So... Make sure you cut your, your funnel real quick. You'll notice I bring a lot of a lot of whiz to cut my funnels. Whatever the CC pulls out, you know, go ahead and deal with it. That queen should be smoked instantly by my king. And then I'm going to lay down my hogs in a circular fashion. So the key to here is we'll find a spot on the edge of these cells where the archer tower can reach and the whiz tower will shoot. So I'm going to bring in two giants, one giant here and one giant here to focus in fire. I'll bring four hogs there, four hogs here. Um, I forget, I think I actually bring a third giant here. More hogs, more hogs. The reason you want to set those giants up front in front of those whiz towers and soaking up some point fire is your hogs won't get damaged, so you'll be able to set your heals real late. So I'm going to go ahead and probably set a heal way back here. Um, yeah, a heal in the back, most likely. Uh, probably a heal where that king's going to meet up, which will allow me to do my last heal here. And then last but not least, you'll bring a couple of extra hogs in the back for cleanup. So that's my plan. Let's watch how uh, the first fail goes on here. I'm not trying to call anyone out, but this is how uh, Locke here on our clan did the attack first. And you'll see how it goes bad for him. Now he does get down all the defenses, but he just doesn't do a clean run. So he's throwing down his golems here and then his wizards. His golems are automatically getting smoked by the queen and here comes the cc so you see he cuts his w funnels with just a straight wizard line wasting a lot of troops there he's also his golems are in here by themselves so no one's really aggroing the queen or king's about to come aggro in on the king but you're still gonna have a ton of fire one way to help his troops on this he could have slowed down the cc with that poison there um or just did a cut and funnel like I had planned out. So he throws in that poison way late once his troops are already getting smashed to bits. And that pretty much smokes his golem. So he has one golem left now. His king does take care of the queen, which is good. His wizards got smoked by all the defensive fire as they were cutting that funnel. And here's the problem. By not funneling correctly, see how I said I would funnel here? 
and funnel out here to get my troops in there. Now his queen's taking that big walk. So now he's lost the power of his queen to come inside, clear out possible bomb spot areas, clear out extra defenses, and she's taking a walk already playing cleanup mode. So there's one issue. Now comes in the hogs. He set no giants beforehand. So you'll see his hogs are already taking brunt of fire. Those whiz towers will shred up a lot of damage. Now they're hitting some extra bombs. And he sets in his heel. He's already lost quite a few hogs. But now he sets in that heel. Here comes his next group, no giant to begin with, sets on that point fire so that his hogs soak up all the defensive fire. So as they hit that archer tower, they take all the whiz tower. Now they're coming to chop down the whiz tower, and they're still taking more whiz tower fire. Now you see what happens is when we plan this out, I assumed, you see already one Tesla popping up. Assume there would probably be a Tesla bomb, bomb, and a Tesla. What happens to be one bomb behind here? You can already see how low his hogs are. Goodbye. All the hogs. So he sets in that, but his hogs, oh, they do get healed before hitting that bomb. Now they're getting drained on by all that fire. He ran out of heals up top here in time. So his whole top pack of hogs are taking the brunt of all Tesla fire, all crossbow fire, getting chewed up, and they're gone. Now he does heal his hogs in time for that bomb as well. Good heal placement. Now his hogs are getting eaten up by the skellies. They're getting eaten up by the king. Chopping down and they're taking full crossbow fire, full tesla fire, cannon fire, skellies. They're draining one by one. So now he's out of hogs. He does got most of the defenses down, still a king up, brings in his cleanup crew. Now, all in all, not bad. He preemptively healed where he needed to, um, had, had that king take out the queen, got the CC down. Those are the main points, but he didn't funnel his troops directly in the center, and his, his golems died real quick, which didn't allow more damage to be taken done on the inside. So th those are the problems he had, um, you know, just came up a little short there. We'll take a look at my attack oh, on the same base here. So I explained to you my plan. Um, this is basically how I do it. So I set that golem up top there, uh, like I said, out of range for the queen to hit. I bring in some wizards to chop that funnel down. Then I come in with the golem. Focus over. I know that queen's going to start picking them off. So I bring in my wizards extra quick to start making that funnel. As the funnel's being made, my heroes come down. My king jumps across the line. Slaps his queen in the face, killing her right away. And then my troops, I have a ton of wizards and queen go on the inside. They chop down that. I use my rage. Um, you can see my king's clearing out this entire cell. Still got some golemites and golem left. My queen's coming across with a couple extra wizard friends over there. So they're going to do some damage. I have some wizards going outside. They're going to take care of most of this. Um, now I'm coming in with my giants at angles here so that I can bring my hogs in straight without taking that splash defense. So I come in with both my giants, they'll suck up some some fire, then come in with my hogs. My hogs go untouched as I kill those wizard towers. The first bit of damage they take is from a few of those traps. So now I bring out my next giant, soak up that fire, and I place a hog, a couple hogs there, a couple hogs here, and a couple hogs here. See, I'm actually separating their DPS, so that all of these defenses are going to go down at the same time. Rather than all the hogs taking time to kill one defense, moving on, kill another, move on, kill another. Separate their damage. Clear the base out quicker. You'll utilize your hogs more. So here comes my first two heals. You see, I didn't have to use a single heal to take out this entire part of the base here. 
So my heels came in real late due to those giants soaking up defense. Now I said in my heels where that bomb was, also when they're meeting up with these Teslas, bring in my last heel over those Teslas and Skellies. I still have my uh, poison. I drop it where my hogs are going to be sitting for a while since poison takes a little bit longer now to eat up Skellies. That's what it did. Ate up the Skellies perfectly. Now I am out of heel, um, but good thing is I only had one defense left to go. I threw in my cleanup troops on the back side. Uh, one thing I forgot to show you earlier is my queen. I tapped on her ability quite a few times. She never used it. So still having a little issue with the buttons after the uh, update. But I have enough troops. I have enough hogs and uh, some wizards. That All defenses are down. My hogs will turn around and knock out that king then it's just a waiting game to make sure I placed everything where it needed to be I lost a couple hogs due to some late spring traps which made it even closer but got the job done so a little bit of tough base had a few issues but spreading out that hog DPS getting those heels in where they need to be and getting your troops deeper in a base, cutting the funnel correctly, are keys to this attack. So I hope that makes sense, um, how you can use a jump to get in multiple cells. You can see how almost the same exact troops, similar plans, uh, one can work and one can, can go through, just due to those little pieces. So hope you guys appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.